1994 saw the release of Stargate, an epic movie, unique, creative, it was fantastic, I loved it. It was followed up three years later by a TV series put on by a different set of producers that I honestly did not like. It was many years later when Stargate Atlantis started that I started getting into Stargate in general and it wasn't until a friend gave me all these episodes on DVD that I really got into Stargate SG-1. One of the first things I do when I start to get really into the show is I start to decide, do I want something from it? Is there a prop that catches my eyes? Is there a costume that I want to wear at a convention or just to collect? And this show did have it. Like I said, it was a little bit of a slow burn for me to get into the show, but once it was there, I really liked the entire outfit. Starting right from the top is the web jacket. Now the web jacket in this series is a little different than an actual authentic web jacket that you'd have got uh, for military surplus, and that is made out of ripstop. My particular jacket is an actual authentic screen used jacket. I love it. It was exciting when I first got to get my hands on it. It doesn't belong to any specific characters. I went through several different jackets before selling on this one. I had Gibson and Barnes, I had Sci-Fi Hero.net's version, all fantastic jackets, but having the opportunity to own an actual authentic one was so exciting. Next from that really is the undershirt. They use long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts. Really can use whatever you like. However, I suggest if you're gonna go for the costume right now to get one of those dry wick material shirts, you can't tell the difference from the screen used or what's on TV, but you will be a lot cooler. Next up, we have the pants. Now, Interesting fact about the pants is they use, for a lot of the background characters, they did use standard BDU pants. However, SG-1 specifically used a very different pattern for many reasons. I believe because they wanted something a little less complicated and to show off attributes based on some of their actors. The SG-1 pants are completely based off of an, a very old pattern for Vietnam fatigues. The ones I have, again, screen used from Jonas Quinn from season 6. Fantastic. Something I've always wanted to have these two in combination. Again, my jacket isn't a particular character, but the pants are, and that's kind of exciting. You have to get a BDU belt to close it all up, an olive draft BDU belt. Now, you do have the boots. The boots are probably one of the easiest slash hardest things to find, depending on which ones you want. The originals were Magnum Response boots, but really any black boot will work. If you want to go the extra mile, be sure to check out eBay. One part that it's up to you on how accurate you want to go is the tactical vest. The vests you can buy brand new today are not the same designs that were used originally. In fact, the vests that you bought five years ago were not the same vests that you could buy originally. And really, any of those vests will really work. Stitchesloft.com does a great job at modifying them to look pretty authentic. The holy grail part of this whole thing is getting the very first version. Hardly anyone has ever seen them aside from when the auctions went on and you can buy the actual props used by the actors. This one showed up on eBay and I jumped on it. I got it for a really good price. I fought hard to get it. I went for absolutely as much as I could get to get it and I got it and I won it. I was elated. It has a lot of those details that the newer vests don't have including how the pockets are constructed, the radio pouches, everything. I had my friend Ryan at Stitches Lock mod it up to make it look as close as possible to the actual show ones. By far my favorite piece. It's one of those pieces that you have that no one else has or that you really fought to get and it just feels great when you get to that point. That's the Stargate SG-1 caution in a complete nutshell. Be sure to ask me in the comments below if you have any questions. Check out the description if you want to see where you can buy these items or get together with other fans to talk about items and how to assemble your own Stargate SG-1 outfit. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see some more videos. I will have some more Stargate videos up and coming, including more patch videos, as well as some other genre stuff as well. Be sure to click here to check out my one company's 10th Dr. Sonic screwdriver review, and click here to check out my Atlantis patch video so you can see the creation that goes into some of this stuff for me. Anyway, thanks for subscribing and thanks for liking and thanks for watching.